With it being the new year, a lot of people start to make goals to lose weight. And by now, with it being the 11th of January, people have either given up on those goals or by the end of the year, they wouldn't have achieved them. So what I'm going to show you today is the mathematics of weight loss. This way you can set realistic weight loss goals that you can achieve. And the fact that you can achieve them will keep you motivated to keep going. So the first thing you need to find out is what's known as your basal metabolic rate. And I'm going to refer to it to BMR for the rest of this video. This is the number of calories you burn each day just to keep your body functioning normally. There are formulas for calculating it, but to make things easier I'll put a link in the description which will calculate everything for you. So we're going to take a hypothetical person named Joe. He's 35, he's 5 foot 10 and he weighs 185 pounds. Putting his details into the calculator tells you that he'll burn around 1,870 calories a day. Um, you need to multiply this however by 1.2 to know how much he actually needs to eat each day to maintain his weight, which is 2,245 calories. So, if he cuts out 250 calories a day, you'll be burning 1,750 calories a week, which will equate to about a half a pound lost each week. And cutting 250 calories out each day is easy to do. That's like one bottle of pop or one Snickers bar. And those are things which you really don't need anyway. So if you cut those out, it's a really easy goal to achieve. You can then add to this by walking briskly five days a week, just for 30 minutes. That'll burn an additional one and a half thousand calories a week, which will bring his weight loss closer to a pound a week. The good thing about this is that all these estimates are very conservative. A lot of people say that you need to burn three and a half thousand calories to lose a pound of fat. However, a pound of fat can vary anywhere from 2,800 to 3,700 calories. So you can see he's more likely to lose more weight than this, than what we've already calculated. Something which will also help them lose weight is cutting calories from carbohydrates because they also carry water so you can lose a lot of weight just from losing the water as well. As he gets closer to his ideal weight, you'll start to burn less and less fat. That might sound like it's a bad thing, but it's really good. It means the more fat you have to lose, the more fat you will lose at the beginning of your diet. So how do you get started with this? That was a hypothetical example, but you probably want to know how you do this for yourself. So first put your details into the BMR calculator. Multiply that number by 1.2. That's your daily intake to maintain weight. So you need to subtract a realistic amount from this. So don't say you're going to cut a thousand calories a day because chances are you won't be able to stick to that for very long. It also most likely wouldn't be healthy to do. So say somewhere between 200 and 500 calories a day. If you stick to this number, you'll lose weight. So take the number you've subtracted and you multiply that by seven. That's the number of calories you'll be burning each week. If you divide that by three and a half thousand, that'll give you an estimate of how many pounds you'll burn each week. And remember, that's a conservative estimate and you're likely to lose more weight than that. You might be worried about counting calories for every little thing which you eat. So you don't need to do that. Look at the sorts of foods you eat normally and look at what you eat for each meal and get an idea of how many calories are in each meal. That'll give you an idea of where you can cut excess calories and you can plan to stay within your calorie goal each day. A really helpful thing is just to drink water You've only got so many calories you can eat each day to keep losing weight. So don't waste that on drinking things like pop or hot chocolates. Those just add extra calories that you don't need. Exercise will help a lot with weight loss as well. If you don't feel like going to the gym, walking burns a lot of calories. That's an easy thing you can do. Just go out, walk around for 30 minutes and come back. But if you don't even feel like doing that, just do small changes. Park further away from work or from the shops and walk there. If you've got the opportunity the stairs and the lift to take the stairs and probably the biggest thing you can do is find a sport or an activity which you really enjoy like for example if you hate swimming don't try and use swimming as a way to lose weight you won't be able to stick to it for very long find something which you enjoy doing and sticking to it will make your weight loss goals much easier to attain so remember this is simple it might seem complicated but all you need to remember is if the number of calories you consume is less than the number of calories you burn you'll lose weight so good luck with your goals and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.